Welcome back in. Before we let you go tonight, we are still following breaking news out of Gate City where we have just confirmed with police that a child has been shot. Let's go back out to WVTM 13's Aaron Llewellyn. Aaron, you just talked to the PIO and I can see all the evidence markers behind you right now. Yeah, Gladys Jarvis, it is a large scene out here and now we know why. Now we just talked to Officer Truman Fitzgerald who tells us that there are at least five scenes here in this area that we know that there were multiple scenes where shots were fired. So I'm going to step out the way so we can give you just a look at how big and how scary this shooting must have been for the people who live in this area. Now, if you zoom in over here, you can see that there are several shell casing markers over here. Now, in those five scenes, there were nine rounds, 16 rounds, three rounds, four rounds, 20 rounds seven rounds, making for a total of 70 rounds fired here in this Gate City area. Now, again, we know that there was an eight year old girl who was shot Now she was taken to Fire Station 11 by a private car and then taken to Children's of Alabama, where she went in surgery and they believe that she will be OK. But we're told that she was shot at least twice and maybe a third time. But again, she is expected to be OK. Now, the police officers here tell us that there was a gathering here in the March Village, about 60 to 70 people who were gathered. And then there was a shootout that occurred. Now, there are multiple officers here from multiple precincts helping out with this investigation. Now, we know that the child and another person who was injured, not from gunfire, but trying to get away from the scene, were injured here and they were not the target. Now, we know that the girl was also in the car when she was in a car when she was shot. And so, just a very scary situation for anybody who was out here. So again, we know that there were at least 70 shots fired here in this area. And there is a girl who is in surgery right now where she is expected to be OK. But again, this is the third shooting and the second where there was a child who was injured earlier today. So very scary for anyone who was here live in Birmingham. Aaron Llewellyn, WVTM 13.